together. I will solve it here. 10 plus negative 5 plus negative 2. I want to solve this using the properties. The problem here that I don't have inverse. So no problem. I will change. I must change the places to use the commutative property. But please, when you are changing the places, try to let the numbers which have the same sign beside each other. So let's switch the negative 2 and the 10, for example. Let's switch them. So I will make negative 2 plus negative 5 plus 10. I changed places, so this is the commutative property. Okay, negative 2 and negative 5, both of them having the same sign, so I will collect them inside a group. It will be negative 2 plus negative 5, close the bracket, this is a group, plus 10. Now I made grouping, so that's the associative property. Negative 2 plus negative 5, this will give me negative 7 plus 10. Negative 7 plus 10, it will be equal 3. The answer here belongs to Z, so this is closure. Here we don't have additive inverse and we don't have also additive identity. No problem. The most important thing that I used this 3 properties. Okay, let's solve question 2. Write the property of addition in the set Z in each of the following. He wants me here to, say, to see which property did he use. Look at them. Here is the equal sign. Negative 5 plus 3, it became 3 plus negative 5. What happened here? Only the places are switched. We changed the order. Changing the order, so this means I'm using the commutative property. Okay, 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. Here we have two different, two opposite signs. So this is the additive inverse. Zero plus negative seven. Adding a zero doesn't change the answer. It gave me.